Oh my god, you guys, I feel so beautiful. Honey be swift, honey be swift. You know, you know what's up, you know what's up. Hey homies, welcome back to my channel. I'm Brenna, but the homies call me Honey Bee. You know, I haven't posted in a while and I'm sorry. One thing I suck at is consistency, but I'm back. I'm stoked. If you have any requests, drop them in the comment box below. And if you want to see my about this Eras tour movie premiere <laughs> inspired hairstyle, then please keep watching. Okay, so I've only done this hairstyle like two times. I'm kind of nervous, but it doesn't look cute. So I started out by car curling, curling my hair, curling my hair with a three quarter inch wand. I did this about an hour ago. I have another YouTube video on how to curl your hair with wand, make your curls look close to Taylor Swift. I'll link it below and I'll link it at the end of the video. After you curl your hair, you're going to take a section. I like to put my two fingers like, I don't know, right above my ears and then I go all the way across in the back, I'll show you. So we have this section right here, and then we're going to clip this top section out of the way. And I'm drunk in the back of the car, and I cry like a bitch. We're obviously doing this Taylor Swift Airs Tour premiere look, and I always like to have, you know, an outfit that looks similar to the one that she's wearing or whatever, but I just never do. Never do, can't afford new so. So where we're at, she has her shoulders out, I have my shoulders out. Let's go boys Woo! i'm gonna put a braid in this part i'm gonna braid it all the way to the tips and then i'm gonna pin it to my head and that will work as like a base for the next part okay i'm just gonna kind of like do a french braid i'm gonna start on this side i'm gonna flip around and finish braiding well I'm looking at you guys Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of twirl it around itself like this. I'm making sure those ends are kind of flipped in and under like that. Everything's secure. And I'm just gonna start pinning all around it. And make sure you crisscross those bobby pins in there. It'll help them to lock on better. If you put a bobby pin in and it feels like it's gonna fall out, just take it out and redo it. That's with three bobby pins in it. It's secure as a yeah, if you have too many bobby pins, it's just gonna weigh it down and it's gonna slip out. I'm also not wearing a bra. Can you tell? Of course you can't, because my d**ks are perfect. Mm. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself a break. And like I always say, hair is art. Every piece of art looks different, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she has back combing in her hair, but I'm gonna do a little bit because my crown looks like And I, I haven't, I don't know. Let's just try it. So I'm just gonna back comb here, because I don't know, I feel like my hair just looks whack a little. So I slept on it when it was wet. So I'm just kind of doing a little light back combing. I don't want to do too much here. Now our next move, get a ponytail and you're going to make a low pony. Don't be pulling it too tight like that. You want to make it nice and loose and soft. I'm going to take mine right here. And I only went around two times. That way this isn't too tight. So I'm kind of just playing and loosening it up before we are going to get to the pinning. What we're doing is we're going to flip this ponytail underneath like that. So I'm just going to twist these ends so they stick together a little better. Honestly, it's easier to pin it if you tip your head like this. I have kind of like the base of the, you see where my fingers are? It's pushed right up against that braid under there. Yeah, leaning your head back just gives you space to work. Whereas if you're like this, you're trying to move this piece of hair around. So this kind of gets it out of the way. And when you fold it under and you're holding it with your fingers, where you're holding it with your fingers is where you want to pin it. Remember crisscross applesauce, those bobby pins, baby? Not the easiest hairstyle to do on yourself, I don't think. Okay, I wonder how it looks. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I feel like I kind of look like a grandma. We want a couple pieces here, though. Oh, see, I just popped the whole sucker out, man. So I'm just gonna secure it a little more. This is why I was loosening it before I pinned it. That way you don't have to pull on it and like risk losing the connection. Ooh, we're close, we're close. I'm kind of just playing, detailing it. It's not that hard to take out if you feel like you made a mistake. I feel like my side on the left here is a little droopy, so I'm just gonna take it, twist it up and pinch it. Well, I don't know, I'm gonna try. And the more hair you have, the probably the harder it will to 
be to kind of conceal it in the back. But honestly, I think this looks freaking cute AF. Honestly, I feel like this shirt sucks. Sucks. Ah. Such a spaz. Okay, that's pretty much it for this look. Don't forget to uh, check out my Taylor Swift folklore hair video. I think that's what it's called. Like I said, I'll link it below. I'll link it at the end of this video. And that's how you'll be able to get these curls. If you have questions, please comment down below and ask them. And don't forget to subscribe. If you have requests, also let me know. I'll see you next week. Bye. This is Taylor and she's getting paparazzi shots. She'll be like walking and she'll be like,